Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And this is going to be returned from middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. George Kittle is tight in at its third down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On play action, Lance. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Working with a second and four. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll work down inside the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ready. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Lance looking to throw it. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. I don't think either one of us is surprised about who they just targeted on that one. I mean, they're going to try and get to him as much as possible. Up to a nice start, but unable to haul that one in. Yeah, already looked his way a couple of times on this opening drive. Can't connect there. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Lance and company going on fourth down. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk, 17 yards there on fourth down. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Marcus Davenport brought him down, the UTSA product. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And the tight end goes in motion left. In motion goes the tight end. Now on second and 13, Lance. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints will take over here at their own 12-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid in a turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink 
how they go about attacking. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Jameis to throw it. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. On first and 10, Winston. That's going to be caught downfield by Hill. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Winston. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. There he goes, right side. He's at the 40. The 20. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Ready. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, Martin, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He completes it to Alave. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 37. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game, and he's got a first down. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he's got some space here. 
touchdown, New Orleans. So that a very nice looking touchdown run. And on his first carry of the game as well. And you remember, Brandon, we talked to him yesterday. And he thought he was going to have a big game. He thought everything aligned perfectly. He liked what the defense was presenting, and he really liked what he was getting from his blockers. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustain. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown 49ers. George Kittle, 77 yards. And the 49ers have taken the lead. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and you see the final number there on how far that ball traveled. Pretty impressive. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They're going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Winston to give. It's Kamara. And some room to work. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 62 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Winston now from the 50. And incomplete on the deep ball. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Second down, Winston again. Looking for the out route, it's completed to Landry. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays to target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Blitz coming, and down he goes. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. On second down, Kamara. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Winston now. Flush to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30. 10, 5. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score. Now goal for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Fields this way up at the 17. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Final play of the half here, Winston. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Fields this way up at the 17. 
And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, Winston. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, they showed a five receiver set, had the backfield empty, and lined the running back out to the left. Plenty for the quarterback to process both pre and post snap. But he's able to find his man, and it turns into a big play. The first down throw for Winston. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. To the air again with Winston. The pass caught by Alave. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Camara going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Kamara trying again. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints have got it back to within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Lutz good on the extra point. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. After the sack on first down, Lance. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. On third and long, it's Lance. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And mark him down way up close to the 40 of the 39. 
Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Off of play action. Here's Lance. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Throwing now is Lance. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. Well, his arm strength, never an issue, but this one winds up in the wrong hands. Oh, the coverage here is just terrific because when it's done really well, sometimes you can't distinguish whether it's the receiver or the defensive back the ball's intended for. He actually ran with him in perfect motion and able to make a big-time play. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Winston now to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps it moving forward. Working out of the gun, Winston. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Desperation time, Winston on fourth down. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Hey, Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. Lance going to sneak it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. McCaffrey. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. 
Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Again, McCaffrey. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Ready, ready. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. Now a timeout coming in here defensively as they stop it before the two-minute warning with 2.09 to go in the game. So a big kick coming for Robbie Gold. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Gold is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one's CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Winston to throw. Open man downfield is Hill. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. There's Winston. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Now Winston. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Winston. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the 49ers force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. A pretty nice gain there on the run. Gets it to the 35 after showcasing the agile move. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Lance back to throw. Rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially.